Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here and welcome to my guide on the desert task system. Today in this video we'll be focusing on the medium tasks. Now before I go through the tasks themselves we're going to go over a few things such as the requirements and items needed in order to complete all the tasks. So first of all the requirements, so obviously you need to have completed the easy desert task before you can start the medium desert task. If you haven't done that, I have a guide which you can find in the description below. You'll also need to have completed the following quests. Eagle's Peak, the Feud, as well as the Feud quest, you'd also need to have completed the relevant mini quests as well, um, which you unlock after completing the Feud quests. Again, the link for that is in the description. Spirits of the Illid, Fairy Tale Part 2 Kira Queen needs to be started in order for you to actually access the Fairy Rings, and Missing My Mummy. You will need these skills, level 45 prior, level 35 wood cutting, level 25 summoning, level 45 mining, level 33 crafting, level 36 herb lore, level 30 agility, level 37 ranged and level 19 strength. So that's it for requirements, now onto the items. You'll need a crossbow and mithril grapple, a draymon staff, uh, or if you've completed fairy tale part 3 and you don't need to use draymon staffs to use the fairy rings, a pyramid top which will be acquired through the tasks, uh, a molten glass, glass blowing pipe, now having one in your tool belt will work but just obviously make sure you do have that as it isn't automatically added, clean haralander, a pickaxe, again having one in your tool belt will work, a pouch as in the summoning pouches that you use for summoning, 51 spirit shards, a blue charm, potato cactus, um, a hatchet again that can be used on your tool belt uh, and a rope as well. Also if you've never actually um, used the Eagles Peak Eagles to travel uh, to different areas you will need to also bring an additional three planks, five ropes and four nails. Uh, highly unlikely you guys have actually built a rope rack to use the Eagles um, so make sure you have those items with you just in case. So that is it for the requirements and items, now onto the tasks themselves. So first of all, the tasks that I cover in this guide do not have to be done in the order that I do them in. Um, the only reason I've done them in this order is to make it quicker in completing them all as one uh, set um, rather than going by the order that the actual tasks are displayed in the task system. Also, it may um, be possible that you've already completed some of these tasks during your general travels of RuneScape. So in that case, the task window might not pop up to say you've completed completed it. So what I'd advise is just check what task you've already completed for the medium set and to do that you want to go to the heroes tab which is the helmet with the horns icon, then click the achievement tab and on the drop down menu select desert and then what you need to do is check that if you have any gold ticks against the medium task and if you do those tasks have already been completed and won't be necessary for you to complete again. Anyways that's enough about that now onto the tasks themselves. So we're actually currently at the Eagles Peak Lodestone via the Lodestone network and the reason we're starting here rather than our career is actually some of the tasks take place outside of the um, desert area um, but they will involve you traveling to the desert area once they're completed so um, either way the first task we're going to complete is called faster than a speeding bullet and that is to ride an eagle to the desert which requires you to complete the eagle's peak quest now like I said at the beginning of this video if you haven't built the rope rack to use the eagles we're going to need to construct one one of them um, but hopefully you've brought the items with you like I mentioned so first off we're gonna go to Eagles Peak itself which you do by going up the uh, mountain and then there should be the little bit you enter uh, where you find the Eagles like you did in the quest um, go all the way through the cave until you reach the part where the Eagles are and you should see um, a rope rack hot spot that you're able to construct uh, which you need three planks five ropes and four nails for so obviously um, do all that to construct the rope rack. Once you have done that, uh, to ride the eagle to the desert you need to use your rope uh, on the desert eagle. Once you have successfully ridden the eagle to the desert it will come up with a task being complete. The next task is called Away with the Cow Fight and that is to travel to the fairy ring near the cow fight lair. So first of all we need to obviously go to the fairy ring uh, at Sonaris in order to travel to the one we need. Now the quickest way to uh, get to the fairy ring in Sonaris is to travel to the Yanil Lodestone and then literally a very short walk from there is where a fairy ring is and obviously you can then use that to walk back to Sonaris uh, where the main fairy ring is. Uh, once you arrive at the Sonaris fairy ring you 
want to punch in the code BIQ and that will travel you to the fairy ring near the cow fights and once you've done that the task will be complete. The next task is called Overcut and that's to boost your stats at Amaskut's Altar which requires the Missing My Mummy uh, quest completed to 100% and also 45 prayer. So what you need to do is head to the pyramid that you go to during the Missing My Mummy quest. And then once you're actually at the pyramid you want to go inside and transverse through it like you did in the actual quest to reach where the um, mummy is. When you get up to the part with the floor tiles, if you can't remember how to get across, um, literally it is by going either across green and blue tiles or red and yellow tiles and that will stop you taking damage. So you want to navigate all your way across the tiles like you did in the quest and then you should get to where the mummy is and also there's two statues um, and you should see one of those statues is the Amaskut one and what you need to do is pray at the Amaskut altar and the task will be completed once the stats are boosted. So the next task is called A Bridge Not Far and that is to cross the River Lumbridge using a crossbow. So you can, uh, you can do this from either side, either on the Lumbridge side or the Desert side. I recommend doing the Lumbridge side because you can just then uh, go to the Lodestone and then walk to where you need to go. So literally um, in between sort of the Lumbridge Swamp and where uh, Alcarid Bank is, I think my uh, directions are near enough accurate there, uh, there is an option to grapple across the River Lum if you have a crossbow and mithril grapple on you. So literally all you need to do is equip the crossbow, fire your mithril grapple uh, at the grapple spot in order to travel across it and once you successfully make it to the other side the task will be complete. So the next task is called Sosumi and that is to solve an easy Runduku casket which requires the feud quest completed and also the little mini quest that is um, accessible after the feud quest. Now it could be very possible that a lot of you haven't done that and as such you won't be able to do this task until you have. Um, so I do recommend obviously going to complete that mini quest which again I have a guide for which is in the description below. So in order to solve a Runduku casket, what you need to do is speak to Ali Morrison, who can be found uh, not far from the Alcarid Lodestone near his um, stall, and you want to ask to have a look at his selection of runes. Then select Small Casket, and then select Examine Lock. Uh, it will then come up with a little interface where it's like uh, Sudoku, the puzzle, um, but it's using runes instead. But the same principle applies. You need to make sure that um, there's four uh, runes going across each line and in each square and they don't clash with each other. So just watch the footage if you're not sure on what I mean. Once you've successfully solved the Rune Dooku casket, you'll be able to open it and it'll come up with the option whether you want to buy the runes or view the runes. Uh, either or, um, the task will be completed as you actually solve the casket. So you don't need to buy the runes to complete this task. The next task is called Antique, and that's to attempt to cut a log from the teak tree near the ruins of Uza. So to reach the ruins of Uza, we need to head to Shantae Pass, which is directly south of our careers, and then use the travel merchant to travel to uh, the ruins of Uza. Then you'll find a teak tree southeast of Uza near the shore. So head in that direction and obviously you'll then see some teak trees. Uh, attempt to cut a log from the teak tree and once you've got one, the task will be complete. 
The next task is called Heathen Idol, and that's to pray at the Elodinus statuette in Nardar. Um, so what we need to do is head to the town of Nardar, which is not far from where we are now, so just keep walking south until you reach it. Um, and then once you're there, you want to go and pray at the statue, which is located in the building north of Nardar, and you should hopefully remember that from uh, the Spirits of the Elid quest, where you had to recover the statuette. Um, so literally, once you've prayed at it, the task will be completed. So, the next task is called Goat Haralanda, and that's to create a vial of combat potion from scratch in Nardar after killing a goat from the desert. So, um, for this task, be careful because all of the main um, parts to making the potion need to actually be in Nardar itself. If you do it outside of Nardar, it won't count to you uh, completing the task. So, obviously, follow these instructions carefully. So first of all, you need to kill a desert goat in order to obtain the goat horn. Um, so obviously go and do that. Um, and then what you need to do is then prepare the potion actually inside Nardar itself. So um, don't crush the goat's horn until you're actually in the town of Nardar. So as you need to fill your vial with water in order to make the potion, you might as well just do it standing next to the fountain to be safe. So what you need to do is obviously crush the goat's horn uh, once you stand next to the fountain, and then you need to create the vial from the molten glass and the glass blowing pipe that you should either have in your inventory or on your tool belt. Once you've made the vial, use it on the fountain to make it a vial with water, then add the Haralander to the vial of water, and then finally add the crushed goat's horn to the Haralander potion unfinished to make the combat potion and as long as you've done all of that within Nardar itself the task will be completed. The next task is called Taken for Granite and that is to mine granite at the quarry south of the bandit camp uh, and that requires 45 mining. So you'll find the quarry south of bandit camp like I just said a moment ago so you want to head in that direction which isn't too far from where you are currently. Once you're in the quarry, you should be able to see some uh, granite spots, and then what you need to do is mine a piece of granite, it can be any size, and then once you've done that, the task will be completed. So the next task is called Unbeatable, and that is to create a spirit cow fight pouch at the obelisk southwest of Polnaviak. So the quickest way to get there, if you've completed the Desert Treasure quest, you can teleport to the Bandit Camp uh, Lodestone via the Lodestone Network. Uh, if not, just literally walk over um, in that sort of direction. And then what we need to do uh, to find the uh, obelisk, it is located southwest of Polnaviak down um, the Desert Ladder. Um, so just watch where I'm going, I'll lead you to it. Once you've climbed down the ladder, you should find the um, obelisk, and then what you need to do is select to create a spirit cow fight, um, and that obviously requires an empty pouch, 51 spirit shards, a blue charm, and a potato cactus, and once you've successfully done that, the task will be completed. So the next task is called All Square, and that's to sell a pyramid top to Simon. Uh, and now to get the pyramid top that we require, you have to go to the very top of the pyramid by completing the pyramid agility call. So those of you who obviously uh, followed my guide on the easy desert task, you'll remember we spoke to Simon near that actual pyramid. And uh, what we need to do this time is actually complete the agility pyramid in order to reach the top and get the pyramid top, and then we can speak to Simon. So the quickest way to get there is by using the travel merchants. So we're not too far from where the Polnaviak uh, travel merchant is. If you speak to him to travel to Safanum and then keep heading in a northeast direction from there, you'll eventually reach the Agility Pyramid. And then what you need to do is simply click the Pyramid Agility course. Now this course isn't difficult to do at all. Uh, literally all you've got to do is just keep going across all the traps and you'll obviously start going higher and higher up the pyramid as you do that. Um, it is possible for you to get knocked down. I don't think it knocks you down right to the bottom. It just might knock you down to the level before that you was currently on. Um, so literally all you've got to do is just keep travelling all around the pyramid, passing different obstacles until you reach the very top of the pyramid. You should then see a pyramid top all you need to do is select to grab the pyramid top and once that's in your inventory we can then take that back to Simon who's just near the Jealousy Pyramid and trade it with him to finish this task so I'll speak to you in a moment. So once you have the pyramid top and you're back at Simon speak to him and he should give you an option to sell it to him and then once you've done that the task will be completed. So 
So if that was the last task you need to have completed, it should come up with a little pop-up window saying you've completed all the medium tasks, or it may have come up before that if you've already done uh, some of the tasks before. If for any reason it didn't come up with that little uh, message, it could be you've either clicked through the chat box too quickly, or you haven't completed all the tasks properly. So what I would recommend if you haven't seen that message is to go uh, to the Heroes tab and the Achievements section and just double check that all your medium desert tasks have a gold tick next to them. If any of them haven't, um, it will mean you haven't completed a task correctly and you'll need to go about doing it again. But hopefully that shouldn't be the case and obviously we can now um, get our rewards for completing the medium tasks. To do that we need to speak to Zahur who is in the potion shop in Nardar. Um, so you want to head back to Nardar uh, whichever way you want and then you'll find Zahur in the potion shop and we'll speak to him to get our rewards. So once you speak to him, he'll congratulate you for completing all the medium tasks and give you the rewards. So well done guys, that is the medium desert task completed. So you would have been given a 8000 experience lamp, um, which will give you the relevant experience in any skill over level 43. You'll also now get the desert amulet too, which will give the following additional benefits. So when worn, you'll have a reduced failure rate at the Agility Pyramid, you'll have unlimited teleports to Nardar, and you can convert 50 Soda Ash to Molten Class per day while in the desert. A second Teak Tree will now appear near Uza, where the other Teak Tree was. The Mage Training Arena will now have a discount increase to 5%. Goats will have a chance to drop noted Desert Goat Horns. 20 Potato Cactus can be claimed once per day from the Weird Old Man. The Weird Old Man you'll find outside the Cow Fight Lair, so you can speak to him to get those Potato Cactuses. So there we are. Um, so obviously compared to the easy tasks, the rewards for the medium tasks are a lot better. Some of them are a lot more useful than what the easy tasks were. Obviously again, the main purpose of completing the medium tasks is now to be able to do the hard tasks and eventually the elite tasks. Uh, on that note, once I have made a guide for the hard and elite tasks, they'll be found in the video description below. So make sure you check those out once you're ready to do them. But yeah, I don't think you'll run into any problems following my guide. However, if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers for watching, everyone. Bye bye.